Hi everyone, this is Jason Peck, Social Media Manager here at eWay Direct, and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Twitter account for 790 The Zone, which is a sports radio station down in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, every Tuesday, I review a company's Twitter account, Facebook page, or any other social media initiative. Um, so I just choose one company at random every Tuesday. If you'd like me to consider reviewing something that your company's doing, drop me a line. I'm Jason Peck on Twitter or Jason at UADirect.com. Okay, let's get started and just jump right in to see what 790 The Zone is, is doing on Twitter. Um, it looks like they've got a little bit under 6,000 followers, and I'm going to head over to twittercounter.com to check out some of their growth. You know, you can see they're averaging, you know, pretty good um, growth, about 10, 20 new followers every day. In terms of frequency that they're tweeting, it looks like they're posting an average of 15 times per day, which is, which is pretty good for Twitter. Um, you know, you see sometimes they've gotten a spike as high as 91 tweets in a day. Not sure what happened there. Um, and then another spike here in July, 53 tweets that day. My guess is maybe they were live streaming or, excuse me, live tweeting something then. Um, but hard to say. But I think 15 tweets a day is pretty good um, in terms of an average. As far as their overall design goes, they've got a nice, nice logo, very visible. They've got their branding apparent in it. They've got a, a nice background that's customized. One thing they could do something with is just take this uh, black space right here and maybe put in some links to their Facebook page or YouTube account or you know maybe even use it as um, space for an advertiser or sponsor. But you know that's that's nothing big. I think they've got a nice design going on. In terms of the uh, content that 790 The Zone is producing, they seem to be doing a, a pretty good job. Um, a couple examples. One thing I, I noticed was that they have got some exclusive pictures and updates coming from the Atlanta Falcons training camp recently. So that's pretty nice. Um, they've, they've done a nice job of promoting some of their events. Here's an example. It says, come to Mike Bell's Buckhead Back Nine Pub Crawl on Friday, and it uh, links to a Facebook event, so that's pretty nice. Um, and they're also, you know, even offering tangible value in some cases where I've seen they were, um, you know, telling people about a free event or a, a free football camp or something that was going on. And I think that's uh, a really nice thing that they're doing. In terms of engagement on Twitter, 790 The Zone is definitely doing a nice job directly engaging and responding to some of their followers. Um, definitely using um, the at reply feature a good amount, so that's nice to see. They've also got some Twitter lists, which can be pretty helpful in terms of um, making it easier for a company to keep up with the kinds of people that they'd like to follow and engage with on a regular basis, so that's nice. Um, in terms of creativity, um, 790 Zone is doing a pretty good job. Um, on July 22nd, let me see if I can scroll down and find it, they did a pretty um, interesting contest around Follow Friday where they basically asked people to give them a Follow Friday shout out um, and enter to win um, tickets to some kind of event. I, I can't remember what it was, but it, it was a pretty cool idea. One thing I think they could do a little bit more of would just be um, doing just a few more contests and promotions. You know, I'm sure they have some great relationships with their advertisers. Maybe they could um, encourage people to you know, tweet out something around a current uh, sports event or you know, story, um, you know, something creative, something fun, and have people enter to win you know, something tangible um, as a result of that. I think overall, 790 The Zone is doing a very good job on Twitter. Um, one thing, another, uh, one, one other last thing that I think they could be doing a little bit better job of is just being consistent in terms of how they're tracking and shortening their links. So they've got, um, you know, it'd be, ideally you want to use a shortener like Bitly or something else so that you're tracking all clicks to links that you're posting and you're testing everything to see what the optimal times of posting are. Hope you enjoyed this review and I will talk to you soon.